Oi gente, tudo bem? Aqui é Jana Nascimento Nagasse e hoje eu estou aqui falando com a Cherry Lewis. Ela é uma das stunts, talent, profissionais que você tem aqui em Hollywood. E ela fez a stunt para a Proud Mary, que está saindo em um DVD soon. Então, quando você descobriu que você gosta de ser um stunt artist? Um, I've always been an athlete. I was a gymnast when I was a kid, and then from gymnastics, I became a professional dancer. So I was a dancer that could tumble. Um, I do circus aerials, um, so fabric, trapeze, a hammock. Uh, so everything that I've always done and loved and had a passion for serves this issue to be a stunt professional. I'm a martial artist, Taekwondo, Kung Fu, Kendo. So all of those skill sets that I already have like transfers over into stunt work. And so I get to do the things I already love doing. Doing it, yeah, for fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and making money out yeah. of it. So it's a win-win. <laughs> yeah, of course. And how how is work with Tara, Taraji? Oh, Taraji is it's awesome. Um, she's She's such an amazing, talented person, and in all the projects that she's she's doing, and and I'm just always amazed at her like dedication, focus, talent, and her energy um, when she's on set to for Proud Mary. Even though she has like the television show and other movies, is so it's it's just a joy and a pleasure, and also a great for me a great learning experience to to be able to watch and interact and observe someone who's so talented in her job. But talking about talent, she's talent too and she's a busy woman here because she always like doing stunts for series, not just for movies and everything. How long have you been working with? Um, I've been a stunt uh, performer for about 10 years now. Wow, you see, <laughs> it's not just me that been busy with this journalism life is you, you too. How was the toughest scene or toughest moment that you have in this movie? Can be this movie or in your 10 year career? Uh, well, for this scene, it's, it's fights, but a lot of fights with, um, with guys. So uh, that dynamic is always going to be interesting, um, like you know, throwing punches and flipping someone. It's always going to be interesting, and, and there was a lot of gunplay and shootouts in this film. So it's it's filming the previous. So we'll do a week of rehearsing, learning choreography, and then shooting the pre-visualization of the scene before you actually film it for the film. So that's a long process because you're figuring out what works and what doesn't work. It's like, oh, we're gonna do here, run behind this car, run behind that car, then shoot up there, and then you should, like, oh, no, that doesn't quite work. We need to move that car there, and then the next day you might come and change something up. So the rehearsal in previous time can be like long hours. And then once we have that all honed in, you shot the previous, you show it to the director, it's like, yes, that's great, you only need to change this or that dynamic needs to be different. And then you go in and shoot the scene and that might take two days. It's a lot of work too. <laughs> it's not just the actors or directors, they work a lot. And have you ever got hurt? Um, knock on wood, um, uh, no, um, I've been very fortunate in that aspect. Um, you know, bruises, bumps and bruises and things like that and uh, soreness. But um, you know, that's why you have major. Have 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 you ever imagined you doing something else aside? Not a stunt. No, <laughs> I always say, you know, this is I love this. This is where my heart is. This is the only job I'm willing to wake up at 3 a.m. for. Like, <laughs> who can say that? If I had to wake up, if if I had another job, and they're like, oh, you have to wake up at 3 a.m. You know, you'd be like, oh, I'm sick today. I'm calling out. But like for this. Like okay, 3 a.m. I'm I'm up at 2:30 already, and like I'm ready to go. So this is what I love to do. Did you get your inspiration from some other artists, some other stunt artists, famous ones? Do you have anyone that you look up to that you thought about before? I have to say, well, being an, an athlete and always doing the physical stuff at growing up, my father was a mathematician. 
and he also does physics. Wow. And we will watch TV and talk about the physics of like the shows we're watching, especially car jumps. And he will break it down. So, okay, that car just jumped over this. So that means that it needed to start off like 30 feet away from the ramp and have a speed of X amount in order to hit the ramp that's at a 45 degree angle to carry it over the seven buses. So we would talk about things like that. Like if I'm riding my bike and there's a hill in the neighborhood, you know, you have to hit the hill perpendicular. If you go down the hill at an angle, you'll roll. So, so I could do the hills that maybe some of the other kids can do. Because I knew the physics behind it. I'm like, I got this. And I like, yeah, so like, yeah. That's awesome. We like you put together everything that your father thought, thought you. Yeah. Yeah. With your dance experience, your art or martial experience, everything that you did. That, yeah. That's awesome. And I have an a, a important question right now for like diversity. Do you think that this have changed the thing about diversity affect your career? Um, I think it's moving in um, a positive progression forward. It. Um, it's, it's, it's always going to take time and you have to be patient with things like this, but then when you at a point and then you look back and you're like, okay, there has been progress that's been made and there's always more that can be, can be done. Sometimes when you're in it, you don't see the progression that's being made until you stop and look back. And so I think now it's, a, it's that progress forward in a positive way. Um, it might not be at the speed and pace that I would like, but I know that it's going in that direction, so that gives me comfort, and, and hopefully, um, you know, to still keep striving for that positive, forward moving direction of of, of diversity, of um, representation. Representation matters. Of the world that we that we live in, the people that you encounter, were were all out here, so it should be represented. Um, on film. I'm, I'm a circus aerialist and I know sometimes I've done shows and people are like, I didn't know, I didn't know, um, you know, there's like African American females that do, you know, trapeze. Yeah. I'm like, you know, and I'm not the only one. I, I mean, there's other African American or just um, people of color that do this. It's like, I'm not the single person. But no one knows this. Yeah, no, no, yeah. nobody's like he's watching. They just have a small group. But they don't know because it's not represented. It's not shown in film and television. Um, so when it is, then people are like, oh. Then it becomes the norm. The more representation you have about, you know, variety and, and diversity, then it becomes the norm, and then no one's shocked. Uh, about it, and they, they, they shouldn't be. So it's for stunt work, being a martial artist, um, um, a, a female driver, all that. You know, they're, we're there, that we're out there, but you just need to show it in film and television so other people will see. And then that first, that little girl who's sitting in her bedroom who wants to do something like this but doesn't feel that she can because she doesn't see herself reflected. Once she does, it's like, oh, there's someone who's doing the same thing that I want to do who looks like me. It gives you encouragement and hope. I know, like, for me as a gymnast growing up, like, seeing someone else of color doing gymnastics meant the world to me. Yeah, that's right. And you have, a, see, talking about, like, inspiring the new generation, do you have an advice to give to them so we can finish our interview? Stick with it. You're not the only one, you're, you know, you can do it. Never, never give up. Like if it's in your heart and soul and what you feel your passion is about, just, just go and do it no matter what. Don't listen to the negative because there's plenty of people like me who can say, yeah, yeah, you go girl, you can do it. Like with the positive, there's so many people there to support and nurture you and, and all proud of you and what you do. So just, just keep doing it. Yes, we can do it. Yes. Thank you so much, Sherry, for your time. And don't forget to check it out. 
Proud Mary DVD digital Blu-ray on April 10th. Not exactly. I'm married.